Oh. Yeah, I think one of the one of the best rights to know is the right to remain silent. Right, man. And, and, man. and, and, and right, so that that works in a lot of ways. Look at it like this. He says the right to remain silent. Right, that's the Fifth Amendment. But think about it in the First Amendment, freedom of speech. What does that mean? The freedom to speak or not. So if I say, sir, who did you vote for? What is your response? After I just gave you that. I plead I the plead. fifth. No, see, it's First Amendment. It's First Amendment. We're just talking. Well, I, oh, sorry. I choose to exercise my right not to share who mm -hmm. I voted for. So why first can't plead, why, why can't we vote like the fifth not, voted it, first? Because we're just talking, right? Plead the fifth is more of a criminal context. The, the, okay. You're pleading the fifth to... Uh, yeah, but from a civilian standpoint, you. we just hear, I plead the fifth. And exactly. I don't want to answer that but question. But think of it more like First Amendment freedom of speech. Okay. Oh, you're not a, you are a law-abiding people, right? Think so, of it like that's why I'm saying most people believe in the police and trust them. Well. They do. Yeah. Like if you get pulled over by the cop and he asks you, you, you're a little more knowledgeable. But the average person, let's take the average 18 year old. It's not that, that you just believe in them, it's just that you think that a lot of times I feel like you're, you're thinking, you see, like a lot of things that are inherent in nature of, as black Americans is not the correct way to operate in a lot of, you know, corporate, police things. I agree in with in that. our community, in our community, if something went down and, you know, Hey, listen, Dad, I, I'm not even going to lie. Look, I, you know, my brother, he kept coming over, and I did it. I, I did it. I pushed him. I didn't know he was going to fall down. He bust an ankle. What are we going to do? We're going to reward the honesty. You know what, son? You were honest about it. So when we get in front of these situations, in front of police, whatever, hey, did, did you, who's, was there any, is that yours? Well, that's a different scenario. No, but I'm saying that's how a lot of times young uh, black men let's, slip into, let's, let's you know. Let's parse that out a little bit. Okay. You're talking about somebody that might have committed a crime. Yeah, I mean... I'm saying inherently, as a people, as citizens of America, we are indoctrinated to trust the police and trust the authority of the police. And so when the police comes in contact with you, your initial reaction is to comply. See, I don't think we're complying out of trust. I think we're complying out of fear. If you're watching this on YouTube, man, hey, y'all, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, this is Gentleman's History Hour.